and it led me to a decision I had to make. There's duality in life, right, guys? There's good and bad to everything. There's good and bad to everything, even wrestling. I got to talk, I know about wrestling being an addiction, too. And it made me realize that in this situation, all this pain I have in my heart right now from losing my dog, I got a choice to make, right? I can focus on the moment, the pain of he's gone. He's not going to be there when I get home anymore. Or I can focus on all the great memories I have with him. And that's an easy choice, right? Why would I focus on something negative on purpose? So I realized what caused me pain, and I decided to focus on the positive part that caused it. All the love and all the joy, I wouldn't give it up for anything. So now you guys got a new way to think about losing wrestling matches, right? Dang it, I lost. It's not that moment that caused a loss. It's all the work that you put before that. So then you can be proud. I'm a little proud that I'm upset about this loss, right? Because I worked really hard for this. Now you're not focused on losing anymore. You're focused on the hard work you put in. What do you think you're going to do after that? It's going to get you started back quick, right? You'll move past that loss a little faster. It's still going to hurt because you're working hard. But the more it hurts, the more you care about it, the more you put in. I learned a really good lesson for myself. This is just a few days ago. It made me understand why things hurt in my life and why losing hurts. And as hard as I try and balance my ego, that's still painful. Even like losing dual meter, one guy I'm close with drops a match, it still hurts. But it has nothing to do with that moment. It has to do with all the work you did before. So now that I got my story out of the way, we can get ready to get some work done, right? I was going to go on the map and do some cradle stuff, but we need to move around a little bit. So I'm going to do some neutral stuff. Um, I'm going to go like David Tater, Kyle Snyder, Kale Sanderson, even throw back. Like, I'll give Bobby Douglas some credit. That's where I really picked up a lot of this stuff. And there's actually one of the best clips on YouTube you can find if you look up Bobby Douglas collar top. I bet I learned more from like that 18-minute clip or 12-minute clip than I have watching a lot of technique. Jack's going to This will be fun. I've coached Jackson's.